consumers now are really trained to not see ads when they see these polished nice images, when they see branding somewhere. When you start this process of like designing for social media, like forget everything you know about branding in its traditional sense. You don't need to put an intro, outro, and also a watermark of your of your brand's logo into it. It's not it's not necessary. And one thing you really have to understand about your audience that they are not there on social media to see ads because consumers now are really trained to not see ads when they see these polished nice images, when they see branding somewhere, they just automatically put it in a box. Okay, this is this is a noise. This is not something what I came here to see. Well, you just have to find a nice and really honest and humble way how you're gonna bring your product out there. People are not dumb. They came there to see authentic and personal content. And in this case, it doesn't really matter if even in the end you wanna sell something. It's just giving them that feeling of, okay, this is authentic and real and this is something I can relate to and this is actually giving me something. And I think understanding that attitude and tone of voice will be the first thing you will need in order to create relevant design that somebody just scrolling through their social media, they're going to see like, okay, this is, this is more than sponsored ad. This is really con something that I really need. I think one thing which is absolutely non-negotiable before you start doing anything is just like, let's set the art direction there. Meaning by art direction, you pick your font, you pick your colors, you pick some unified way. So like all my content will have this one characteristic. You will need an icon. An icon, I would say that would be the only place where really your brand logo should go in. Thumbnails also is a super crucial part. A lot of people gonna discover only of this little tiny thumbnail. Then you have your banner, but also with your banner, it's not on yet another place you're gonna put on your company logo. No, that is something to set the mood, set design. So also, what is the set where you take your videos? What is the backdrop? Sometimes with just a nice backdrop and really, really nice, cool color that really like sort of makes sense with your overall channel design. Again, you can look so amazing, so authentic. I hope you gained some insights from this video and I hope you liked it. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and comment.